I'm JD, the Media Jack, and this is episode 15 of the Media Jack podcast. And today we're going to talk to a absolute bundle of energy, enthusiasm, creativity in the content creator, Be Sparksful. But before we get to that, once again, thank you so much for everyone who has supported me so far. If you would like to join the likes of everyone on Patreon, then feel free to go to themediajack.ca, check out the Patreon page, and you too can be in on some of the questions before guests get onto the show. As well, you can have a shout out just like Red Wolf Dawn, the executive producer of this episode, as she has donated to get to the top tier and get all the exclusive stuff, including a shout out at the beginning of an episode. Again, if you'd like to support in another way, you can buy some merch as the store is available at themediajack.ca. There is the iron bikini, there is also some generic gym shirts, and there is the Media Jack merch at themediajack.ca. Now, the episode. This is an incredible opportunity for me, and I'm so grateful that Be Sparksful has given me some time to talk and learn and to just basically hear her story of how she went from being a Jill of all trades, a registered nurse, to creating this incredible community online, as well as a very talented and successful cosplayer. So without further ado, this is B Sparksville on the Media Jack podcast. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to do math. I have not. It's on my day off. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't have that many fingers and toes. No. Um, <laughs> uh, so let me see. I started like when I was when I was a wee lass. I okay. Um, I like we would dress up and everything, and I'd have my mom make really cool outfits. Like I can vividly remember in high school. I would say my first full-on like cosplay and it was like a closet cosplay mm-hmm. would be in um jack sparrow and really? i was in high school yeah so we had something called spirit week during spirit week you would there were themes each day that you would dress up as and then that led into homecoming and our school was really big on homecoming most mm-hmm. people are big on prom mm-hmm. my, my school was big on homecoming and so it was always a big event and we'd have co- like class competitions and whatnot it was this whole thing and so I dressed as Jack Sparrow, but my school didn't allow us to do like gender bending or swa- or swapping, not even gender bending, just like portraying another. So gotcha. I cheeked out of it by saying I was Jacqueline Sparrow uh-huh. and you can just call me Jack for short. And so I was, I had fun with that. I would say that was probably my first one and that would have been like, I was like 17, uh, so it's been 2007. Okay. Like finally full fledged delving into it. Uh I would say probably probably 2015, 2016. Okay. In that realm I started and I think what I would consider my first like I made every almost everything of the outfit would be my Cora cosplay and that I'm still constantly working on like we I worked with my mom can sew I'm a baby little sewer I can I'm, I'm like can I do this I feel like you know how when you're a dad with the car when you're yeah. in the flashlight you're like yeah. I helped <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is what it's like I'm like um here's some fabric <laughs> yeah, yeah. which color can thread I'll go string? grab that <laughs> yeah yeah here let me let me I'll, I'll thread the needle hang on <laughs> <Like>. <laughs> So uh, we completely designed the shirt. We had to take two patterns and like put them together because they didn't have a pattern for what I was looking for. Hmm. So we made the shirt. I took my pants. I dyed them from another pair of pants that I'd already owned and then just slowly have been making it. That would be my first original cosplay. And I think that was back in, I want to say like 2016, 2017. Okay. Um, and then 2015, I would just go with my friends to conventions and just be like, I don't know, whatever the group cosplay was, and I'd be some character. No one knew because they were just trying to fit me in there. And I was just like, I'm here. Wear this, come with us. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, here we go. You know, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that was, was my... That been, go, ahead, go ahead, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say that would be my first, like, cosplay experience would probably be in that that time range. Okay. 
But was it was it your friends who dragged you to a con and like a, a, a yeah. convention? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sort of. So I had I had some friends that uh, they loved going to conventions. I'd never been to any. I've I'd always wanted to go to you know San Diego Comic Con, the the the, the, the mecca, big the big one, you know. Yeah. And uh, I just of course haven't. But because uh, being clear out in the middle of Kansas, whole different ball game. So they dragged me to one what was it it was called naka con it was um uh up in kansas city it was it's just an anime convention it's a really small anime convention and we what did we dress up as i can remember one distinctly we were powerpuff girls and i was the fourth one yeah everyone's like there's a fourth one yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there was a fourth one yes. in the like newer powerpuff girls i guess her name is bliss she was okay. purple after that, then they, they dragged me to Planet, and I, they're like, hey, you know, then they made an event out of it, and we'd go to Planet Comic Con, which is actually a bigger convention, and that's also in Kansas City. Okay. And that's just a normal, like, comic convention. Um, It's a pretty big one now. It's getting really, really large. They had some really good names. So I've kind of gone to those every year, and I've been going for, like, the four or five years now. And, I, I mean, skipping COVID, I don't... I don't that's a that's a that's a blank span of nothing yeah but. oh no yeah that's that's the <laughs> case for everyone absolutely right yeah. right so yeah ben went to there and then so after they started you know i started enjoying all this and going to it because i didn't wasn't really big in anime hmm. i didn't know a whole lot of anime the only one thing i knew was Oh. right um because i watched it as a kid growing up whenever whenever i could and so I was constantly, when I'd learned something, I'd be like, oh, ooh, I know that. And ooh, I felt like Captain America, I know that reference. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and, I, was, I was just thinking that too. I was like, I got that. <laughs> I got that one. I know that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'd be asking everyone all the same stuff because that's also a great place for all your nerd friends to find Christmas and birthday gifts. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, so what does your character that you really like look like? <laughs> and, and I'd go look around. And then, so now I've watched more and more anime now. I've gotten more into it. Mm. And now I go there and I'm like, oh, I know him and I know him. And I, and I, hey, friend, I know you and stuff like that. So it's really cool to be able to be like excited about what you see and, mm. and knowing like there's times that you're like, they, you put in a lot of work from this for this. I don't know who that character is, but mm. you, you look good, you know? <laughs> hey, what? you can put it on the fridge, you know? And, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so now I, I pretty much go every year. We're going to. Dragon Con this year, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. Wow. It's a, hu it's a huge yeah. one. Um, and that's our first time going. We're going a big group of us. Um, there's me and another streamer called Savage Giggles, and she's a uh, Halo streamer and, like, is a Halo character canon. And so that's really, it's really neat. She's, wow. like, 6'3". Yeah, she's huge. <laughs> and so we're, we're all real excited. So we've all got, like, an Airbnb. We're going down there and... I've already told a bunch of people, and they're like, "I can't wait to see see you meet you." And I'm so excited just to be there and everything. So that's well, kind of where I've gone with it. Well, that's that's actually a, a great segue because, like, you you've you've we've already established like your passion and your interest in in cosplay, and then yeah. you ultimately like placing your feet into the cement of anime. But like you you've already developed this incredible community with being an online content creator primary yeah. first of all we'll get into twitch uh and mm -hmm. a streamer your community is incredibly supportive oh they i've been so blessed yeah how, they, how how like how did this come to be and when did you when did it really dawn on you that this was something that was just uh, like just, oh my gosh uh, really, like, I mean, it dawns on me every day. Like, to me, I've slowly got to know these people mm. over time. So I, I know them, but uh, it was just, I want to say it was, oh, three-ish weeks ago, um, to be okay. honest. I don't know. I got really lucky with having really amazing people to be, to be rank. Like, I started off and I've always wanted to, I've always, like, myself in my personal life is try to be that friend that you know everybody wants and not just like put on a face or a mask right. or anything let that be you right. but just be real with everyone everyone you know no one's beneath you no one's anything else and uh try to be genuine and uh create you know really i'm here to have fun i'm here to have a good time and mm -hmm. and everything and uh so i think by putting that foot forward 
and really trying to interact with everyone and get to know them and and be be real with them. I think that helps, you know. I I yeah, I like to have fun. Yeah, I'm very competitive. Um, but at some at sometimes you're you're here to have a good time. That's all anyone's here for is just to have a fun relationship. And I think I got lucky having a bunch of people who did that and they bring they bring bring people and they just keep coming and going and Yeah. Um it like like I said, like three weeks ago I had a really awful day. Um, I had worked like four days in a row, which people are like, that's four days, but that's a lot because I was working like your 12 hour shifts. Cause I mean, okay. obviously I, we've talked about earlier, I'm a nurse. Right. Um, I'd worked 12 hour shifts, um, which in reality is actually like 13, 13 and a half. Yes. And um, I had four days back to back. Generally you only work th- like three and anyone who's nursing, you don't work three in a row. You just, you don't, it's not, not okay. a good time. Is it, is it just overwhelming? Is it's it too much? Not. Like, okay. Like so you, you think you, you get up, you get to work, you work 13 hours. You rarely get a lunch break. If, I mean, sometimes you do, but very, mm. you're, you're eating while you're going, mm. uh, you get all your report done. You drive home. You literally have enough time to eat, go immediately to bed to wake back up and start over again. Like you don't, you don't get time to hang out. Sometimes you'll have like a rough, just shift. Mm -hmm. Um, with your patient load and everything. And so I had had four days in a row. The last day I was there for 15 hours. Um, Holy smokes. Yeah. (laughs) That was working. That was not like wake from the time that I was awake. Like, cause you, I, I'm day shift right Mm. now. And so I woke up at like five. So you're up from five till whatever. And then I came back to stream that night. Uh, well that was, that was just a rough day. Sorry. It wasn't that night. So then I, I, I got off the the shift was just awful. I was there late. And then, so the next day I was like, you know what? We're going to have a good day. I was making a good day. I tried pre a full, actually, I think it was a double dose of pre-workout for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't mean that. Mind you, I dr- I have maybe about a hundred milligrams of caffeine a day. Maybe. Okay. I drink like a half an energy drink. And that's when I'm like at work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of my friends were like, Hey, Let's see what I'll be like on, on pre-workout. So I put, he he gave me, I didn't realize he gave me a double dose what he takes. Oh, um, yeah. someone who's already so used was, to it. Yeah, so he had 800 milligrams in there. Mind you, that's like, you know, what, seven times the amount that I normally take a day. Uh, 800 milligrams of caffeine, and I was just buzzing. Oh my gosh, I could, I could smell the colors. Um, <laughs> yeah, I could smell the colors. I could feel the number nine. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, I was just like, I can't stand still. Um, we went and worked out and uh, I was working out and I was like, I'm not, I can keep going. I'm not even tired. Yeah. My body is, but I'm like, I'm not, at one point it's like, I can't feel my hands anymore as I'm doing a press. I'm like, but I'm not tired. <laughs> and so it was real, real high, high wild day. And I was like, this is, you know, went on a walk. I saved a turtle. I don't know. I don't think I saved him, but I like to think I saved him. I put him into the water. Okay, um, fair enough. <laughs> you helped the turtle. I helped the turtle. Okay. Yeah, I helped the turtle. <laughs> and uh, I came back, got ready for stream. I was missing um, the battery cord for my camera. Oh. Um, and so because the battery only lasts like two hours, but the, I have a cord that has it connected so it can stay plugged in the whole time and right. actually function. So right. I was missing that and I couldn't find it. I'm destroying my room. And then I found I was missing another cord to a light, a whole stand for a light. The gremlins the, just like come in and start oh, yeah. grabbing shit or what? Well, it was from me traveling down. Oh, to, okay. And so I had, didn't pack it. I was missing the remote controls for my backlights and... I didn't realize this and I like said, oh, the stream's starting at this time. Mm. And I was just like, I was trying to have a good day. I was still like exhausted. I was still frustrated from a lot of other things that had happened. Mm. And it was just one of those culmination points that I was just like, mm-hmm. so I'd like postpone stream because I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. I'm yes. very much a perfectionist. Fair enough. And so I was like, all right, we're postponing stream for an hour. I'll be back. And so I ran real quick to, I think it was Best Buy. And of course they didn't have any sort of cords and I knew it. I knew they wouldn't like they don't, no one carries stuff anymore. It's all online. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so frustrating. And so I ended up basically buying an, another battery. And then what I was doing was like when that battery went low, I'd swap it out. So I spent like extra money because the batteries weren't super cheap. Right. And so I spent extra money on this and then I get back 
and that's when I discovered like the the different thing other things were missing too and I was just like <laughs> and so while I'm trying to figure out how I'm setting everything up and seeing if I because sometimes these lights will respond to like other US like remotes you know like other oh yeah like, okay they're, they're cheaper right and so I was like asking my roommates do you have an RGB remote at all like trying to see if it could get it to register mm. and so I'd started stream it was in like a starting soon um screen so people could come in and i was i was late even on my postponed late time right so now i'm like i'm i feel like i'm underperforming you know people come here and i'm trying to put on you know the best foot they're just here to have a good time they're super super sweet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they had already had what what twitch calls a hype train right right and they already had it at like a level five hype train giving donating and they were all like super excited and just all this stuff and i just broke down oh i just my. lost it and um i was just like and they so they I, I go live and i was like i just gotta go live i gotta do this i can't like control it i was like i was like trying to breathe it in you know like <laughs> the tick tock i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay yeah, right? <laughs> I can't, they're like why are you looking up i can't cry because my foundation is 40 dollars you know like that sort of thing i was like trying to suck, like, suck in the tears yeah <laughs> and so i just went live i was like you know what let's just be more real with them so I went live um, and I was just crying and they're like, oh no, what happened? You know, they're like, who we got to beat, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, no, don't do it. <laughs> I said, these are happy tears. Yeah. Um, and it was just the love and support that everyone had. And I was like, you guys, it just, it, everyone, I get a lot of messages of like how um, I've helped people get through things, the positivity mm. and my videos and all this different stuff that I make on TikTok. And then also seeing me on Twitch and all this different stuff and i was like it's very much reciprocated for me too like i mean yeah you get a high off of performing and stuff but absolutely they are important in my life as well and they help me get through things just the positive comments and the the love and support that everyone has for this you know thing that i just decided to try to do one time and uh so i just i was just crying and i was like i'm i'm really thankful guys i really really am these are happy tears you know and they just then of course started pouring it out and they, they don't oh, cry yeah, often yeah. so they're like make her cry more yeah. and, like, Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> and i really don't cry often like in person person yeah, you know yeah. personally so yeah um <laughs> it was it was just one of those moments like wow you know this is i when you're late and, and you're still late and you're still late and things are just completely trash yeah. and then you come in and they're still like, yeah, and you're just like, I'm coming. <laughs> so it was one of those, it really hit hard. Like it's hit other times, mm -hmm. but it was just one of those, like, you know, you think of the like athlete or whatever, when they walk into the stadium, they're just looking at the crowd and just absorbing it. It's just one of those, it's just really cool mm -hmm. to see everyone be so kind and generous mm -hmm. um, despite me not delivering on time on things so just that, it was really just neat. that one time though. one just mm. the one time i would love to say it was only one time, yeah, yeah. we'll just say it's the one time <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh you made reference to the fact that like you know this community is just where it is now all because at one point in time you tried something once and that was mm -hmm. your prob most likely you know, like the first time you tried streaming a game Mm -hmm. what was like looking back can you can you try to summarize that first time to the point where like you're like we were we were laughing earlier like i'm i'm rocking my merch you're rocking your yeah, merch yeah. you got this really cool <laughs> mug that someone made for you like freaking legit like that is so badass honestly i know the card that they sent they were like you know i hope you i know getting things from strangers is weird i hope you're okay if you want to throw it out you can and i'm like why? No. <laughs> Why? No, it's not perfect. I'm like, I don't care. No one else has it. It's mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but the 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 time of uh you know that first broadcast to the point yeah. where like, oh I I'm gonna start creating merch and people are buying yeah. my merch. People are like that that it's time. So exciting. Yeah. So I I think I started doing TikToks before I did Twitch, and so. I love playing video games right and i had some friends that were streaming and they were like they were telling me oh you know it's really cool people can pay you and i knew about it i knew well about it i mean we all know like markiplier and pewdiepie and all these other big names right um and i was like i knew about it but i like technology technology wise i'm like average in knowledge right but like 
you know, having to know how to hook up these things, how to do sound. Oh my gosh. I have, knowing that you're a sound guy, I'm over here like, don't bother him about this, but I have so many questions. Um, <laughs> I'm all for <laughs> answering questions. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh my gosh. Sound eludes me. Like I can, I've learned now a lot. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, just like all those different things to set up. Hmm. Um, like I, I'd done photography before. I, I was a professional photographer for a little bit in my past life. But uh, so I was like, I have a decent knowledge of technology, um, but trying to set it all up and everything was just very scary. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, trying to do things relatively inexpensive too, because as a new streamer, you're like, I don't have the money to put on all this stuff yeah. and have a good camera and yeah. lighting. And yeah. I, the, I can remember, oh my gosh, now I went back even further. So the first thing, I didn't stream it, but I put it up on YouTube and I think it's still there okay. in my thing because I leave it there as like everyone seeing where it started. Right. I had a laptop. Um, it was not a gaming laptop in the slightest. And I played, um, I was streaming with that laptop webcam, a horror game called Layers of Fear when it like first came out. Like okay, that. yeah, yeah. I think that was like 15-ish or something like that. And the lighting is so bad, it's pixelated. But I was like so happy about it, and then I was like, I can do this, and so I got a little cheap, like Logitech webcam. Mm -hmm. um, I think we all got, started like, with a Logitech re webcam, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, it's got 1080p, and and so then of course you're like, you're slowly like building, and then I remember when I started developing like a small little core group of people, and it was right before, um, right before COVID, like mm -hmm. COVID started happening. Um, and I had a small little group. We were actually going to try to do a meetup at one point. I think COVID started started popping off then. And uh, <laughs> but it was everything was not what it what it is now. And I knew very little. And I just remember like, here we go. And then they everyone was so supportive and cool. And you kind of became family. I would play with them. And right. and then you're trying to figure out where you can like balance that in your in your life. And then you're like, well, people really really like me. They're like, do you have merch? And I was like, oh, I don't. I don't have merch. I, I need merch. Oh my gosh, we're at a merch stage. Okay. And uh, so like, I think I had, I didn't have a logo created or anything. And so I, I reached out to people and I had them create a logo mm. and, and everything and, and got that all designed. And then that became my new thing. And then I was like, I can remember, <laughs> cause during COVID I went in, um, I, I had a, I wasn't a nurse before I had a whole different job. I helped develop medicine. Oh, wow. And then I decided, hey, I want to go be a nurse. So I went to an accelerated program where um, it's like a year program and they bum rush you through it um, because I already had like my undergrad. Right. And so two weeks in, um, then COVID happened. And so we were all online. But I can remember even being in class, like working on my logo and, and tweaking it and stuff like that while I was totally listening to lectures. Um, <laughs> Absolutely, one hundred percent, totally focused. One hundred percent, and realizing that oh, merch is a merch is a thing, and then finding people actually buying it and everything, and slowly as each going, I'm like, oh, I'm at the stage, and I have I have two streamers that I'm I'm definitely like, they're who I want to become. Okay, and and this the step stool of like I look at them, and that's how I kind of compare myself. Okay, where am I at with them? You know, I love how they have an amazing community, mm -hmm. and then I I just study them, and I study a couple other people. But they're they're, they're two female streamers. One is um, a uh, uh, Sweet Tales is her name. I've seen okay. her on uh, TikTok, Instagram all the time, and another one is called um, Crusader. And so I just kind of look at them, and there was uh, I just recently got a uh, uh, somebody donated. So I have a Kofi, right? Okay. And I was for to get a a, a streaming computer basically the computer would hold my stream and then my my computer would then hold the game right um, and it's one of those like the next step stool of of like things and somebody just donated one time like here recently um all the money for it holy and i was like huh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i wasn't ready for that because it was a lot of money <laughs> yeah yeah and as they would like by the like they it was in like little sections but in all in one night they just had enough and i was like Okay, first off, bro, <laughs> chill. So you didn't have to. Yeah. First off, you didn't have to. Thank you. I am not upset, but like, you can eat, right? Like, 
you can pay your bills you're good like yeah um and so last i had a stream yesterday and it was the first time i ran with the whole setup and everything and so it's really exciting because now i'm like looking at things and i've seen different things that how it works and i'm like this is what those streamers are doing and this is what oh Oh, it's all making okay. sense now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what is it that, that uh, it, it kind of feels a little bit like uh, the Prince of Egypt song, you're playing with the big boys now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ooh, ooh <laughs> this is what it's like. Okay, okay, let's adjust. All right, don't break, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go oh, back. I don't want to go back. Yeah, now that I'm here, I don't want to go back. Oh, it's, it's so rough. But <laughs> yeah, so it's just really exciting to see how it just keeps snowballing i guess mm -hmm. and and there there are definitely rough spots there were times when i'm like man this isn't i feel like i've st i've stale like it's stale i feel like i haven't done anything um you know views aren't going up i'm trying to figure out new things to do and then it just and then it'll go and you're just like here we go you know <laughs> like uh what is that other tick that got you they're like and now we wait <laughs> we wait <laughs> and what like, oh, keep moving keep holding and you're just like ah <laughs> just no, going along for the ride. <laughs> uh, no, absolutely. That's just it. And like, um, that's something that, uh, like, even myself, uh, where I'm more working in the mainstream media type thing. Like, things will happen in lulls. If if there's, uh, if there's consistent growth, eventually, like, things will will flatten out or they they'll fall off. That's just the way things are. Oh, yeah, but yeah. as a content creator, um, like, it, it's kind of. I can understand it being kind of daunting because you have real time stats in front of you at all times. And sometimes, oh, yeah. you know, you'll see numbers and they're half of what you're used to. And like, you're thinking to yourself, what am I doing wrong? When mm -hmm. in actual fact, there's nothing wrong. You're yeah. not doing anything wrong. It's just a lull. It's just a lull or people have something going on in their life. Like sometimes you got to see it's summertime. People are outside. <laughs> like they don't exactly. want to be inside watching, watching me do my silly stuff, which good. Go outside. Like go <laughs> touch grass. <Yeah. laughs> Take your phone with you and leave it in the background. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, <laughs> but, but, but on that, like, uh, you know, as, a, as we mentioned, as I told you before, like mm -hmm. I stumbled across your stuff. I was scrolling through instagram and uh your character of kicking no you you didn't kick down a door you just unleashed busted in yeah. busted in unleashing a flamethrower and then uh it was like the the every, the reaction of the people working at mcdonald's and then the mm -hmm. unicorn kid like <laughs> yeah she's coming in just screaming oh yeah exactly <laughs> that the dedication mm -hmm. to those skits and mm -hmm. the unicorn kid is just someone like I want to give a high five to whenever. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like what, what, what triggered in that brain of yours to create this universe and to put out these skits that are just yeah. unique and amazing and, <laughs> and, and clearly like what helps push who you are and your creativity yeah. being being a nurse you get dark humor is just it's just the thing um yeah <laughs> i was making stuff and i was doing a lot of lip syncing um and i was i was pretty good at it um mm. and then i made a dark humor joke um at one point kind of along that line it, oh it was um i've thought about remaking it because it okay. went so well and, and including unicorn kid in it because i didn't have unicorn kid around at that time and it was a joke about um uh stealing the heart of a of a cute boy and then it then it was everyone else at um in, in the operating room and it's me like physically stealing the heart <laughs> oh and skipping God. off and <laughs> And uh, you have security chasing you down and everything. And I was just like, oh, that, that, that's funny. <laughs> 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 and so I did that. It popped off. And I was like, hmm, okay. So then I kind of had, like, the the pattern of how to do things. So it just kind of, like, went with it. And then it was just trying to come up with ideas. And it was really easy early on to come up with ideas. Now, now I'm like, I've done that. I've done that. I've done that and people will send me things and I'm like absolutely send me ideas I can even if I can't use it because right. there's so many that I've created that I'm like ooh, that's a little dark I can't <laughs> yeah. it's, I'd when, probably get banned for that one <laughs> like, when, when you look at it and you go ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of times I'm like, it's me, but I don't. And my community is not that dark. Well, I mean, they are, but like, we mm. don't talk about it. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, I started off with that. And then I did a, like a unicorn kid. Mm. Um, and it really. So I had a unicorn. I love onesies, first of all. I've loved them since yeah. I was little. And I, I had a bunch of onesies. And my, my niece, who um, is like five now, um, she loves unicorns. And mm. uh, so I, for her birthday, I had bought her um, a little unicorn onesie. And I bought myself a unicorn onesie. And so we were twinning. So we were having fun. Because she looks like exactly like me as a little kid. Like, it's scary okay. um, to the point that, like, my parents, when they are, like, getting under her, they'll say my name. And I'll oh, be like, yeah. what do I do? Oh, do. And they're like, no, you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Shit, it's really funny. Boo. I've been here before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't do anything. And yeah. then there's other times I, yeah, I look at her, I'm like, I mean, she did nothing wrong. I, I don't get what she did wrong right here. This is She's perfect. <laughs> it worked for uh, me. <laughs> yeah, it worked for me. Like, she is right. Um, but uh, so... I was needing to show, I was doing a skit, going off-roading. Um, I recently recreated this one again to include a new character that I'm working on. Mm. Um, and so it was going off-roading, um, and uh, then it was everyone else at the playground. Um, or going in a 4 by 4 or something like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're back in it. Yeah. And I, I wanted to have, like... You always have everyone doing the, the panic face, like, oh, my gosh. You know, the, the yeah. like, mom Karen. Um, yes. And, uh, but I was like, I feel like cause there's always that one kid who's just, like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, he, they don't yeah. understand what's happening. Yeah. And it was also a little homage to my niece at the same time. Right. And I was like, how am I going to show a little kid because, like, you have all the filters, but, like, those filters, just they just don't do it justice. And I'm like, how right. am I going to show a look at And then I was like, oh, I have a unicorn onesie. So, because I had a, I think I had, like, a penguin at the time, a raccoon. But none of them looked like kid. And I was like, unicorn. Like, kids yeah. wear unicorn onesies. So I went and grabbed that on, did that. Everyone was just like, oh, my. Because I didn't give the the kid a name. I just, I think I said just everyone else on the playground. Right. Um, And did the mom, like, <laughs> and then did unicorn kid but didn't label it as such and everyone loved it and i was like okay okay i is. think i found there it, it. i think <laughs> i found it and uh and so it's 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 a little bit of my inner child that i'm i'm throwing in there it's a little bit of my niece um which now i have a second niece who is more of a unicorn kid than the first one, which is terrifying. So it's doing that, but a lot of the different contents, I've seen memes and stuff. Like, I, 100%, I don't make them all up on my own. I see things on there and I'm like, hmm, how can I, like, some of them I tweak, some of them are like, this is perfect. Like, mm. I'm just gonna run with this and act it out. Like, okay, we'll just see how well I can do it. So yeah, that's kind of what it is and it, and it just, it keeps rolling. And now I've got, like, I'm adding in, I wanted a nemesis to unicorn kid. Hmm. And I'm I'm working on him some. I've showed him a little bit, but it's uh, Dino Boy, okay. which is a head nod to my nephew too, okay. because he loves dinosaurs. Right. And uh, so I'm trying. I'm working on fleshing out Dino Boy, and I want him to be like in the same regards of Unicorn Kid, like there for the chaos. But I'm I'm trying to make him more refined. Gotcha. Like he's like like he's the planner. He's the one like hmm, I did this and this happened. What are you you know like that like air. Yeah. Like the only way I can describe it is like the British version of Unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> That's the automatic go-to is like refined. Yeah. British. British. <laughs> like, mm, you know. And um, so I've done a couple of like uh, like uh, <laughs> little bits of there in there and people want more of him. And I'm like, I'm trying to flesh him out. I don't know. And then, so I'm trying to figure him out a little bit. Right. And I'm trying to decide if like, so Unicorn Kid's mom is always like, oh my gosh, shocked. You know, like, why would this happen to my beautiful baby girl and in this right, area? Right, right. And um, I play like Aunt Chaos to to her. And then uh, Dino Boy, I'm thinking of having it be the opposite, where his parents are like, get out there in the mud, get dirty. Yeah, let's go. Right. And he's like, mm, no, <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> I, think... I don't, I don't mess with that peasant work, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get it. I, I can so, see it. Absolutely. <laughs> 
So I'm trying to figure out how to do it in, in like his format, how his format will be. Yeah, some of them like will sit there like recently I did a uh, a nursing one where I was thinking of like, okay, what I, I did something that it, it popped off. What was it? Oh, a Disney skit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so Timon and Pumbaa from Lion King, when they're right. doing the distraction scene with the hyenas. Yes. And they're like, you know, we need a distraction. So I thought of this. I was getting ready to go into work. I didn't want to go into work. I'm sitting there in my car just like, Ugh. And I, I somehow thought of like, because we have sometimes a lot of dementia patients who are confused. Right. And you have to do a lot of different tricks to get them to take their meds. And I was going to have some of my patients back again. And I was like, oh, I just wanted a distraction. And then Lion King popped in my head because I love Disney. Right. And I was like, oh. and so I later on, I had the idea. And so I went on into what I recorded was I took masks and I made a mask, uh, like bra thing out of the masks. Okay. Face masks. Yeah. I put a hairnet on. I had like a, an, a what was it? A, like a. We put on um, gowns. Okay. I had like these like isolation gowns and I wrapped it around and made like a hula skirt. And so I made this joke of dancing and doing the distraction for the for the patient to get their meds. Right. And it popped off. It went off and I made a complete fool of myself. Like my parents were downstairs uh, <laughs> watching something. I'm upstairs doing this hula dancing thing, being completely ridiculous at one point. And, like, this, like, mask bra coming on. Like, I'm fully clothed. It's just this mask right, right. bra over it. Right. And um, my dad at one point walks up and looks at me and just goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and just <laughs> continues on. Like, they're used to the, cra the crazy, silly, chaotic things I'm doing. I mean, they, they, that's where I get it from is them. But uh, <laughs> he was just like, all right and i was like you like my new outfit <laughs> you know and stuff he goes it's uh it's it's yeah <laughs> <laughs> and God. so uh so then i was like i was trying to think of different things and i was uh trying to i was like everyone loves disney how can mm. i incorporate this and so then i started doing um disney um songs as different nursing specialties and that Sin it off, mm -hmm. sin it wild. Mm -hmm. And um, I got so many views because everyone loved it. And I think my best one, and I thought of this right before I went to work out, was the Little Mermaid Under the Sea song. Right. Um, and because there's dark humor like jokes in there. And so I did a gynecologist song is Under the Sea. And I did the specific line of where it's, you know, it's better down where it's better take it. <laughs> <laughs> I had like the little clampies and everything, and everyone's just like, oh, <laughs> exactly. They were the <laughs> just, it was oh. my best one. It's my best one to this day. I can't top that. <laughs> just hang it up. I'm done. <laughs> just, I'm done. I made several more, but nothing will top it. I don't think anything will beat that. Oh. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, you'll never hear the song the same again. You'll oh, never God, hear no. It. You're just going to be like, Mm. <laughs> mm. So now that's what all the <laughs> that's what all the people are gonna play, like the the boys when they're on the date and they're like trying to make, or maybe the girls, maybe the girls will be they'll play that song. <laughs> I mean, oh. it is about kissing the girl, but uh, Event yeah, well, yeah, eventually later in the movie, yeah, yeah. Into it. <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes! Hey, I'm gonna set the mood. Let me play a little. Mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We all like Little Mermaid, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. So yeah, and then I did that, and then people, and then I was like, "Ooh, I got a bunch of new followers." So I was like, "Let's reintroduce Unicorn Kid to them," and um, it popped off. There's people that don't get it though, mm. and I'm just like, "They're like, what's? I, I love the dark humor. What's a Unicorn Kid?" And really? Like, mm. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so I gotta make a video like re explaining because I, I get that so much, and I'm like, either you weren't one growing up, you haven't been around kids that are that, yeah, or you're just not one. Even my own my own dad was like, okay, I love it, mm -hmm. I'm here for it, and he's like, mm -hmm. this is really recently too. He's like, but what's with the unicorn kid? And I'm just like, he's like I don't quite get it. I'm like, my mom like looked at him, <laughs> it was like. <laughs> Are you serious? Hun. <laughs> it's her. <Yeah. laughs> As a kid. 
Were and, you not uh, around during yeah, that time? Yeah, exactly. And he's like, okay, okay. <laughs> and I was like, dad, dad, it's, it's okay. <laughs> That's adorable. But, yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, I just... A lot I of, find it, I do it. I'm not afraid to make a fool out of myself. So no, and, and and clearly, like as you stated, like a lot of the influences from the characters are are from either yourself or family members or just oh, yeah. you know, experiences within your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a like a, what is it? Taylor Swift and her songs. Don't date Taylor. Oh yeah, yeah you're in my God. life. You're gonna be. Oh, there's yeah. so many that I've used my friends for. I'm like, hey, um. So I made a video. Um, <laughs> You're going to find mad. some connections in there. <laughs> there was one. I even like, I dressed up to the T, like had the shirt, had the beanie, all this stuff. I tucked my hair in because it was one of my guy friends. Right. And they were like, you even did my mannerisms. I'm like, I'm good at my job. <laughs> That's like, awesome. That's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> yeah, it got me views. <laughs> no, but. with with your merch, like uh, it's more than just a shirt, right? There's like you have a wide variety of stuff that people can, uh, yeah, purchase and support you with. And oh yeah, how, it may, like take if you don't mind, like mm-hmm. how is it that merch and people buying it helps you out? Oh, it uh, just it goes right back into everything I'm doing like Mm because sometimes I have to buy props I'm buying lights wigs sometimes or sunglasses and everything it goes right back into it and for me I keep them I try to keep my merch on the affordable side like I'm not making a ton of money off of it I'm not trying to make a ton of money off of it for me it's more about just hey I I like seeing my stuff out there in, in the support and want because I'm wanting I try to make myself to help people get through things, try to make them happy, try to make them smile, try to make them laugh. That's what a lot of people want to do in the end of the day. And just seeing that, it makes me excited to see my stuff out there that, hey, you know, I support this person. I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, That all of it goes right back into that because eventually I would like to do this. I don't do this full time. I I consider it full time because it's like a second job. I I mean, I'm as sure as you're aware. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, you, you spend a lot of times. How do I do this? <laughs> yes. And so like I get off work and I'm immediately doing this. And so it goes right back into it. Like I'm right now I'm trying to create. Um, I think I have him here. I have a mm-hmm. 3D printer, a resin printer that I got off a friend. Oh, no. Where is he? Did I bring him? There he is. Um, and I'm working on 3D printing a little logo of my little pyro guys. This is my first successful print. So I'm really, really excited about him. Oh, wow. That is um, adorable. And like, there's like, I have like, sure. theory, oh. it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I don't get it. Um, <laughs> um, no so one like, asked these you. Are, these are, yeah, yeah, no one talked to you. She does it all the time when I'm at work. I'm like trying to give like a med to somebody. Like I'm yeah. giving them a shot and they're like, uh, would you like help with that? I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Sorry. <laughs> But uh, we got somebody to 3D print these. They're just the little flame. I got to save them all up. But it's just part of my logo. Yeah. But yeah, all of it goes right back into it. I think I have stickers. Um, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it. I got these little fun little, like the rainbow stickers. These are, I give for those, um, the holographic ones to um, people who watch my stream mm. um, and subscribe. Just as a way, I do like, I, get, I give away my little 3D printed guys some stickers, some keychains, and I just give those away free to those who subscribe and the lucky winner each month as a mm-hmm. way to say thank you. But I have like all this I, beanies. Yeah, all of it. I try to make it like, you know, wearable and cool and, and whatnot. And I'm slowly coming up with more and more. Like I'm working on making, everyone's been asking me and it's in the process. Um, it's a uh, unicorn kid merch. Oh, cool. So I'm I'm working on making all that. I have um, one style already designed for her, and I'm working on like the whatever words I'm gonna put with it, and I'm tweaking it a little bit. And then I have another one that I'm working on or, with another creator to make some more and mm. make some fun unicorn merch for everyone. Because everyone's been asking me that like, if I had unicorn merch, I would wear it. And I was like, okay, and I'm gonna be walking and see like people wearing like uh, you know I'm a unicorn kid or something like that and. I'm here to cause chaos, and I'm here yeah. to <laughs> my babies. <laughs> yes, that's cool. 
but yeah no all of it yeah it goes right back into everything like all the stuff you see here these nice pretty lights and this mm. I'm, I'm real proud of this okay so this right here you can kind of see it i might be able to tilt my, my camera back a little bit sure let's see if i can all that little like hexagon thing yeah um i made that i didn't buy it and uh so all the funds and everything go back to making all of this successful making more props mm -hmm. my ring light died one time had to get a new ring light right um all that sort of stuff and uh so it helps me keep going and making more content really absolutely and it's just cool to see your stuff out <laughs> oh yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. um mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure you can uh, agree with me on this it's like it's forever flattering it's oh, forever it is. flattering like uh, someone purchasing it or seeing a photo of it or like coming up to and like, look, and, and yeah. it is forever flattering. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like I remember everyone used to be like, Hey, what are you, what are you trying to get to? Like, when do you, when do you consider you've made it, mm -hmm. you know? And like, what's, they always, people would always say, what's the number of followers and stuff. And I'm like, it never was like followers for me. I mean, you always, it is ha like exciting to see those numbers. Like, oh, people like me, you know, like my content. But it's like getting recognized outside of that because it, it's not a, it's, it, it doesn't much, I guess the realization isn't there because mm. to me, it's just me in my house with my phone and yeah. a ring light. Yeah. And I am just doing something silly. And so you're not like people be like, oh, you're famous and all this different stuff. And I'm like, Thank you. Yeah. I don't feel like that, but you know, like I, I mean, yeah, I have a really good following, but I'm always like, I, I don't have a million. I'm not on the big screen. I'm right. not. I would love to be. Yeah. And so yeah. if anybody's out there wanting to want to hire me as acting, I, I'm here. I'm here. I wouldn't <laughs> turn it down, but I'm famous. I'm not gonna turn it down. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm. I don't know about famous. And there, there's some people be like, oh, I'm with. I'm with a like. They did. They, they'd be like TikTok royalty or Instagram famous, and I'm mm -hmm. like, who? Oh, those are big shoes. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, don't mess up. <laughs> and, um, but now, now a lot of people are, especially in like the nursing realm, a lot of the nursing, cause I feel like there's not a lot of nurse creators. There's, there's several out there mm. and they're really good, but there's not. And so almost every day I have other nurses be like, do you make, I saw you on Instagram. Do you make TikToks and stuff like that? And I'm like, <laughs> Yes, I do. And then they get upset with me and they're like, why didn't you tell me? Like, um, I don't feel like I should come in being like, uh, do you know who yeah, I yeah. am? Like, By the way. I have this many followers, so you should like totally like go give that med for me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I get like, the good I, scrubs. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I wish. I don't, I don't, I <laughs> but yeah, I, it is just really cool. And, and, I had the first time ever I had somebody who was a patient recognize me hmm. and I was like, Oh no, <laughs> because like I turn a corner, my patient just got out of surgery right. and they're like, you make TikToks," And I was like, Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Cause I was like, hi, you know, I said my name, I'm going to be your nurse for the day. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now like, you make TikToks, don't you? And I was like, uh, mm, yes. <laughs> And I was like, and, and she, and, and she was like, you, you stitch, you like stitch, and that because I had just done um, a stitch TikTok kind of recently on Instagram, right? And uh, and I was like, yes, yes, I did just do that one, and I, I listed off what it was, and she's like, I love your stuff. I just watched it before I went into surgery, and I was like, wow, oh, holy, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> and so I was like, well, you're the first patient I've ever had recognize me. Hmm. Now I'm scared because now I got to do really well as a nurse. <laughs> yes. I don't want to mess up because um, that's the last thing you want is be like, yeah, she's really good at TikToks, but oh, don't don't get her as a nurse. I'm like, you know, it's always your fear yeah. um, and everything. And so, but yeah, I've had a couple people. There was one time I went to a casino with um, a friend. Well, for a friend's wedding, they had a wedding. It was like it was like a hotel and casino thing. Yeah. So I was walking in and I, I I came in late. My friends were all unloading stuff. We I think we were going to go decorate for the wedding. Hmm. Um, and so I drove the car, parked it, came over, and there was like a valet guy that was there. And he like st I came around the corner. And he just stopped and looked at me, and I'm like, "What? There's something <laughs> on me? <laughs> Am I on I'm fire? Like, <laughs> like, like, Do I smell? Like which way is the wind blowing? Like yeah. you know? Yeah. And <laughs> and he he's like, 
are you and they get the I, I've I've started to pick up the look yeah. and they look at me and they're just like you and I was like yes <laughs> yes I, I said TikToks or Instagram <laughs> and they're like TikTok or Instagram and he was yeah, like yeah. you're you're be sparksful and I was like yeah yeah that's me what are you doing here and I'm like <laughs> I'm a normal person I'm just here to, you know I was like a friend has a wedding so I'm here yeah. in the wedding and they're like oh but yeah it's always like what are you doing here? What are you, what are you, I'm like, um, still human. I gotta go grocery shopping or (laughs) I'm not that I'm not rich. (laughs) I work for a living, you know? Yeah. So that's so cool. Yeah. It's really neat. If you don't mind, like you, you're, (laughs) you're very open with your community and you're very open with, uh, you know, who you are, you know, to a certain degree. I mean, it's not TMI, but, um, what is, what is one trait or skill or experience that your community does not know about you simply because they have not asked oh because they have not asked okay yes oh i had something like this once okay you know like one of those when people ask you you know what do you want for your birthday or christmas and you're like um let's see my community knows that so there's one i do um but they kind of know about it it's actually what got me started in some of this um i used to paint nerf blasters did play this game in college and a little bit past called humans versus zombies giant game of nerf tag okay. um i have one of the blasters i think over here um uh, let me see so i used to do this but there's i'm trying to think if there's there's something bigger and better that i do that people don't know now but like this is a, one of the nerf blasters that i've painted that is um that is beautifully like done this. yeah it's not it's not completed yet but and this is they it's one of the rewards they get on stream but it's cool. very it's a very rare reward um they have to work for it what's something that they don't know i do i can tell you all the pet peeves <laughs> 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 sure uh, let's, let's go with pet peeves what's I your can go with pet peeves. yeah yeah um except repetitive things okay. cannot stand repetitive things i find i'm a dad with lights like why you know like why are we air conditioning the neighborhood sort of thing why are we oh the lights on? yeah yeah fair enough like yeah. you leave a room turn off the lights <laughs> yeah. oh swing dancing i can swing dance you can swing um, dance i can swing dance yeah i have been swing dancing since i was in high school oh yeah i continue doing it so my friends and i were kind of like it was so it was part of that homecoming thing that spirit week Right. Um, they would teach us before uh, the homecoming dance and everything like the day before and you'd get extra points and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, they would teach us, they bring in a swing dance instructors and they would teach us how to do different dances. So when people get on the floor, they're not like, one, dancing in ways. Right. Um, two, uh, not like the stick straight. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Enough there room for the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Holy Ghost, Jesus, and then some. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, so my friends and I were just nerdy enough that we went, hey, let's uh, let's go swing dancing, uh, you know, at this place on Sunday nights and learn how to do it. And so I did that. And um, uh, yeah, so I, I was swing. I've been swing dancing since then. And in college, I took like as a like a leisure, one of my like easy little gen eds leisure study things, mm-hmm. um, a dancing class. Um, and I got, uh, had a couple dance partners where I learned like salsa. He was a, uh, a Latin dancer. Okay. So he knew like salsa, uh, merengue, bachata, tango. And so we were also in the middle of like nowhere in, in cause I went to Oklahoma state. Um, so it's country, very country. So we right. would go to the bars and we would practice and stuff. And so he's doing Latin dancing. I'm doing swing dancing. We're working it out together to country songs. <laughs> Just this big old <laughs> hybrid. Broad spectrum. <laughs> broad, broad spectrum. And so, yeah, we would practice and we would do like aerials and stuff like that and throws. And um, so, yeah, I think swing dancing, I've, I've mentioned every now and then, but it's like, it's a really big um, part of me um, that a lot of people, I guess, don't see often. That's so cool. That, that yeah. is like a, an incredible skill too. Like, so oh, yeah. like um, you can name off moves and positions and transitions. I could, and, yeah. Yeah. I'm not like, I'm super amazing no, at it no. because like I'd only go every now and then and I want to keep going back. But right now with 
with work and everything it's it's a little harder but yeah like my main one is uh what is it um east coast i like east coast dancing okay which is it's a really easy dance it's like left step or left right rock step back that's the basic okay and then i we do what we call freestyle so we just throw in things that we see and i tap and so i've been told i have a little bit more of a, a jive type of dance very cool um and i just pick up from a bunch of different dance partners i've been with and uh and do do that and uh so when when i get dance instructors that get up to me they're like you're you're there but you're also doing yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a frankenstein it's fine yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. don't 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 overthink it i'm not <laughs> that is so but, cool yeah the only thing that would even remotely hint at uh at your ability to dance or even uh-huh. specifically in swing dances is, is mm-hmm. just how you carry yourself you have good form mm-hmm. also your hair yeah. is just stunning so oh, yeah. I could, it's a lot of work <laughs> I, I believe it i honestly believe it but like I, I could honestly like now that you mention it like i could see you mm-hmm. in the outfit with that beautiful hair yeah. of yours and just being able yeah. to move fluently so yeah. that's the only thing but that's yeah. a great answer oh yeah no because i played sports i mean i played college sports i played in you know i had little boast here i had a chance so i was going to play for the national team um the u17 national team for the women's soccer here okay um i was going to go and play in austria at some of their tournaments this was before i went into college Mm. had everything all set up was good to go and um then the i think it was the ncaa got in well the the person who was the coach was also the a, a a college coach and there was like a conflict of interest they they pulled this conflict of interest card he it could be deemed as him recruiting like because ah. there's rules behind how you can recruit and stuff right um and so they uh they said you can't be a part of this anymore and they brought it in somebody new well then the somebody new had people who they wanted and so i didn't get into it but i was like I was, I was so frustrated. I was yeah. Like, oh, so throwing in like the fancy feet work with that to dancing. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, That's awesome. Good so, for you. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, to, to wrap this up, um, mm-hmm. what is something that you're working on that people can look forward to uh, in the future? And where can people find your merch as well yeah. as where can they find you on social media? Oh, absolutely. So the next thing that I'm working on right now um, is, like I said, the Unicorn Kid merch. I am actually currently in the process of talking with the, like, we're, we're exchanging design ideas. Like, the he's drawing it. I'm over here tweaking it. Mm. So everyone's been asking about it. I'm making Unicorn Kid merch. That I know so many people are excited. I have a feeling it's, it's going to go. They can find all that. I have links in all of my... Um, all my social media there it's at the link tree mm-hmm. and in that link tree has everything where you can find me on every social media like my amazon wish list um or not, not the wish the the storefront mm-hmm. which is where anyone can find people i get asked where do i get my headbands my stream setup uh the onesies all that stuff it's all there for everyone to right. be able to find and buy themselves and i get just a small little commission out of it that's there my discord um for those who know about discord twitch instagram all that sort of stuff. Um, it's all in there on every single one of my bios in, in any of my um, social media stuff. So I'm also on Facebook under B.Sparksful. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch. Um, I do have YouTube as well. I'm working on. So if anybody, uh, yeah, if anybody wants to uh, volunteer to be an editor for Twitch streams, <laughs> um, I am in the market. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the market, so if anyone wants to show their skills, hey. But yeah, I got, I have some YouTube up. Twitter, I am on there, ish. Um, I'm not like I said earlier. I've, I'm old. I don't know how to work the Twitter. <laughs> I, you want the, from, from from me to you, leave it. Just yeah, leave it. <laughs> I'll let you guys have it because I tried. I'll leave my man. My manager is better at uh, at, at figuring that out than me. Yeah. Like, you you post it. I will, <laughs> I will deal with everything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then my next uh, Twitch live stream will be 
on this Monday. I think I'm going to move them to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay. When are they and, generally, uh, like, usually scheduled? They're normally at 7. Okay. They're normally at 7 p.m. I post on my Instagram uh, when I'm going live that day, hey, this is when the stream is, and then I post also when I'm live. I leave a link in the stories for you to be able to click and then come and join. I'd love to have people over there. I stream two, if not three times a week. Um, and so people always ask me, you know, they – a lot of people don't hear my voice uh, because of, you know, the way I, I the skits lay out the, the skits. Yeah. And so I'm they I'm like, you can always hear me on here. You can get annoyed by it. It's up to you. I think that's about it. Oh, I am working on motorcycle vlogs. Oh, cool. As well. That's a new upcoming thing. Motorcycle vlogs. I do. I, I ride motorcycles. I have a, a Kawasaki Z650. And so I've got all the cameras. I just got to work on the mic setup and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, so that'll be n- some new content that may be seen on across my stuff. So I hope everyone's really excited for that because I am. Because I get to ride. Mm-hmm. It's warm. <laughs> yeah, which is the best time yes, to ride. It's the best time to ride. <laughs> what I'll do, of course, as I usually do, is... Uh, all the uh, links and information will be available in the description down below. Or if you're listening to this on an audio podcast, then it again will be in the description of the episode. But Sparks, this has been so eye opening and I really appreciate the time that you have spent with me. Thank you so much. Oh no, thank you very much for having this. I had a great time. I think I talked more than you did and I feel awful. <laughs> Don't no, that's the entire point of an interview. <laughs> well, that's great, but I'm like, I'm But no, thank you so much. It was such a great time. I absolutely, absolutely loved it and looking forward to it.